Okay, as you can see, <coughs> I went ahead and I lowered, I lowered the suspension on this, lowered the bed on here, and I put a level on it. So I'm trying to get, make sure that I'm level on the frame. But then you want to check when you're sitting it back down. I put in two bolts, one on that corner and one on the back corner, just so I could verify that I'm lined up. And then I just measured. You want to measure your gap. And this is correct. It looks awful big. That is the right size gap, actually. So I took a tape. I've got one and five eighths between uh, this corner and the cab. Same on that side. Because from now, what you're going to need to do is go underneath, and uh, you're going to want to take <clears throat> a look at the uh, lower suspension because you want to be able to see what you've got to clear. Because these are all some of the obvious things you're going to have to be faced with when it comes time to what are you clearing and what you're going to have to clear that I didn't realize yet was the uh, wheel opening so once we get down here up the light in your eyes you can kind of see that when this bed starts tilting it's obviously going to hit the inside edge of the inner fender and this is where I was going to plan on mounting so I may have to put in an angle iron and bring it away from the frame before it starts pivoting. That will kind of show you what we're looking at on the back side over here. Because <clears throat> you kind of get the idea that with your tire being here, let me get this light. Alright, so once this starts pivoting to the right, you know, towards the tire, obviously that wheel arch is going to have to be cut out, possibly, unless I can pivot the frame far enough back. Because right here, uh, let's see, here's your axle. So if you follow the frame, I'm coming up to the, there's the spring hanger. Then I go forward, and right there is the bottom side of your floor, and that's where I was going to put that yoke one bar on either side of the floor brace. Um, so I may end up extending it out and actually putting it further out here so that the uh, point of pivot will be away from the frame, and then it should clear the uh, springs as well because I don't want it to knock into that. I hadn't thought of that before. So some of this stuff, obviously, you learn real fast. <clears throat> if you want to do any customizing, it's not for the faint of heart. So uh, if you don't have a little bit of guts and courage, you'll never get started. And that's what it takes. If you want to start doing custom work, you just have to get in there and start chopping and cutting and be confident you can weld it back together. All right.